Today's gonna be kind of a different video. This one is kind of gonna be split in two different parts. This morning I'm going to this place, I don't remember the name of the town, it's like a tiny little town in the hills, like pretty close to here. There's this little company that's developing like a synth slash controller slash, it's like this really cool piece of gear. They told me about it and they wanna kind of give us a like a preview, we're the first people in the world to see it, so that's pretty exciting. And then we're gonna come back here to the studio in the afternoon, we're gonna make a beat, but it's not just any beat, it's something a little bit special, Just just wait for it, it's gonna be dope. All right, I told the guys I was gonna be there in like 30 minutes, but I have at least a 45 minute drive, so let's go. <laughs> go. Yo, it's Seth from the future here. I'm editing the video right now and I realized that I didn't mention something important, so I'm gonna mention it right here. The guys were super kind to invite us and let us see the product, but they did ask me to not show too much of it. The product hasn't been announced yet officially. It's probably gonna be announced actually at the beginning of November, but they just didn't wanna reveal the full thing. So I took some shots, I'm gonna show them to you right now, but just forgive me if they're a little like mysterious, they just didn't want me to show the full thing. All right, back to the video. Right, that was pretty cool. I'm really excited to see what they're gonna do with the final product. I think it's gonna be dope. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about what it's in my opinion one of the most underrated aspects of music production. I never see anybody really talking about this, but I really feel like this is the one element that makes your beats like super unique. Sure, you need like a solid kick, a solid 808, a solid snare, clap, whatever, a solid melody. These are all like the basic ingredients, but when it comes to like uniqueness to really like step out of the box, I feel like percussions are the most important thing. So here's what we're gonna do today. Today. We're gonna make a beat and we're gonna try to use percussions for as many things as possible. We're gonna make a melody with percussions, we're gonna make percussions with percussions, like a nice solid groove. We're probably maybe gonna try to make an 808 depending on what we find, but we're gonna try to make most of the beat with just percussions. For this one in particular, we're gonna use the new free percussion pack Emperor from Cymatics. It's completely free, the link is in the description, you can just go grab it and experiment with it yourself. They recorded a ton of like live weird world percussions. I'll put a picture up here, like they just bought a bunch of percussions recorded them and put them in this pack and it's completely free all right we're at the computer we got Ableton open let's get into it this is weird I feel like I haven't made like a talking tutorial in so long right I want to start with the melody so the first thing that I'm gonna do is open up the pack and look for a percussion that has some sort of melodic tone dude these are so good we're gonna make some crazy stuff with this Ooh, I think this is the one let's see what it sounds like Dude, we're gonna go crazy with this one. Ooh, ooh, that's it. Put some RC20 on it. Dude, this is already like super hard. I'm gonna convert it to audio so I can just mess with it. Probably gonna have it like an octave lower, an octave higher, depending on like the part of the beat. Let's start doing drums. Dude, there are so many good sounds in here. I'm gonna have these on like all the quarter notes. Fire, I'm gonna automate the pan so they go left and right each time. I know this sounds like super weird right now, but that's what I'm talking about. Percussions just make it really unique. As soon as I put an 808 on this, which is gonna be right now, this is just gonna be stupid hard. Dude, 
What did I tell you? You know what we need now. We need a snare. I'm going with this one. Dude, I actually feel like it's close. I feel like it's almost done. We're missing like a couple more percussions, just some extra texture, but this is almost done. That took like, that took like 10 minutes. Ooh. All right, let's finish it up. I mean, honestly, what is this beat even missing? I feel like it's basically done. All right, let's add a hi-hat. I'm gonna add one more percussion, then I think we're done. Let's get like a cymbal, like a crash. Ooh, I like this one. That's it, that's done. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a comment if you liked the video, thumbs up, all that good YouTuber stuff. All right, here's the final beat, I'm out.